What's up everybody? Before we jump into today's video, I wanna tell you guys about the new merch that's on the way. We've got shirts in black, we've got shirts in gray, we're even trying t-shirts in green this time. We got short sleeve, long sleeve, and hoodies. For the first time, I'm actually gonna have hoodies to sell to you guys that don't get sold out at an event. So be on the lookout for that stuff coming real soon. Pre-order information will be dropping here very soon. For 2023, I'm really wanting to step up my merch game and have a lot more apparel for you guys. So stick around, check that out, and then let's jump into this video. So unless you live in Central or Southern California, you're probably experiencing a lot of cold and snow where you guys are at in the country here. I know that when it's super cold out and snowing and there's not much to do, I like to sit around and think of all the cool things that I could be doing to my race truck. Specifically, the things I could do to make it faster and better. And I think that at the top of that list for all of us is always, if it's not horsepower, it's always weight savings. And I wanna to talk to you guys a little bit today about where to start when you're looking at your truck, uh, thinking about where to save weight at. And I was thinking about a conversation that I had with my buddy Newman, who has the uh, Common Rail First Gen that we're working on. <clears throat> and when we were at PRI, we were talking about uh, trucks and and uh, saving weight and stuff like that and we were talking about the the manual steering setup on my truck and on Jordan's truck he has a really nice uh, tubular uh, steering column like a race car column that 10 soldier built him and so I still have the factory steering column in my truck and his suggestion was uh, hey why don't you change out that steering column for you know a tubular style there's probably 10 or 15 pounds to be saved there and he's right there is 10 or 15 pounds to be saved there <clears throat> but my answer to him was is that i am going through right now and changing things that will not only save weight but make the truck better, perform better, multi-purpose things. Not just, hey, this is lighter. Hey, this is lighter and it helps X, Y, Z, or it helps Z or X. And <clears throat> so I think that if you're gonna look at your race truck over the winter, or even if you're building a race truck, and we all have budgets, and you're looking at how much you can spend and where you can spend the money, <clears throat> it is my suggestion to do any sort of weight reduction first that is gonna do more than just save weight. So for example, the steering box uh, setup that I just did. Yes, that saved weight, but it also is gonna make the truck drive better, it's gonna make it steer better, it's gonna make it better to handle. So that knocked out two birds with one stone. Plus that particular scenario, we lost a fluid that doesn't need to be on board. So now our risk of crashing because of a fluid went down. So really that was a, a you checked multiple boxes by doing the manual steering. Another great example, because we just talked about it in the last video, is a nice battery. Uh, if you have a part store battery, <clears throat> that thing can weigh 50, 60, 70 pounds, and it probably doesn't even do that good of a job anyways. A lightweight battery is a good place to save, spend money because you can lose 40, 50, 60 pounds, and it's gonna make the truck start more reliable. You don't have to worry about having any sort of uh, electrical issues. Uh, another good place that would cost a little bit more money, but is definitely worth it, is, that I feel like is often overlooked uh, as far as dual purpose weight savings is wheels and tires. Uh, <clears throat> wheels and tires will not only save you a ton of weight if you have a nice set of race wheels, uh, but the proper wheel and tire combo will outperform uh, possibly what you had on there before. So not only are you saving rotating mass, which is always critical, not only are you saving uh, weight and unsprung weight, but you're also getting something that performs better. So you can go around your truck and you can look at all different kinds of things. You can look at nitrous bottles, radiators, fuel cells, uh, the list just goes on and on. Glass, I mean you can spend all day looking at one, steel bedside, steel doors, and you could find a hundred things easily that will save weight, but that's all they'll do for you is save weight. <clears throat> it is a lot more challenging to look at it and say, what can save weight <clears throat> and also at the same time increase the performance of the truck? <clears throat> is it gonna make it faster? Is it gonna make it more stable? Is it gonna make it more consistent? And so I challenge all of you guys to go through your trucks and find 
all of the things that will check more boxes than just weight savings. And then once you've gone through and you've found all that stuff, and once you start really thinking about it, you'll find more things than you thought. <clears throat> so it'll take more time and money than you think to get rid of all of those items. And then once you've gone through and gotten rid of all those, then you can go through and you can pick away at the, okay, I wanna put a carbon nitrous bottle in it. I wanna put a smaller fuel cell. Maybe you wanna do fiberglass doors, fiberglass bedsides, fiberglass front clip. You can do all of that stuff after you've done the things that give you more gain. And ultimately, we're always trying to spend our money in the best place possible. And so spending your money on things that can do two or three, can kill two or three birds with one stone is gonna be the best place to spend your money. So I challenge you guys to take some time, look over your trucks, and think about all of the places that you can not only save weight, but you can make the truck perform better at the same time. And then keep in mind that uh, sometimes you do have to add weight to make it a better vehicle. That is something that I try not to do, uh, but there are certain scenarios where maybe you need this particular turbo to make the power that you need. Well, this particular turbo might be 10 pounds heavier than the, you know, the other turbo that you were thinking about, but it puts 100 horsepower on the other one. That's kind of a, one of those necessary evil deals. Uh, there's, there's just, there's a lot of things. <clears throat> well, I won't say there's a lot of things. There's several things that you can come across <clears throat> that are like that. Safety is a big thing. Uh, you can make a truck heavy quick by doing the safety stuff, but you don't want to skimp out on safety. You want to run, you know, a 12 layer fire suit. 12 layer fire suit's a lot heavier than a five layer, but it's important. You know, it might be the difference saving your life in a fire or not. A transmission blanket. You can put a, a cheap, light, you know, transmission blanket on it, but in the event of a failure, you might be wishing you had that Stroud uh, blanket that weighs two or three more pounds. <clears throat> so, don't always get too hung up on the weight uh, and that that's where it's hard because we want to build these things as light as possible but we don't want to skimp in areas that could get us hurt or cause to crash or any sort of uh, major issue that's going to cost us more money down the road anyways but i think if you guys just start looking at the stuff that you know will save weight and make the truck better. I think that uh, you'll, you'll go a lot further that way. And then you can always go back to all the smaller stuff later that's just weight savings. So that's all I got for this one, guys. This will be the last video that comes out before Christmas. So I'm wishing all of you guys a very Merry Christmas. I hope every one of you had a great year. I know that uh, I'm very happy with this year and I appreciate you guys watching all these videos with me throughout the year. Uh, it's really awesome to have the support and the feedback uh, when you're coming in the garage all the time and you're rambling into the camera. It's nice to know that, that people uh, appreciate what you're putting out there. So wanna keep on going with this and next year we're only gonna have more stuff. We're gonna have more apparel, more content, more racing, more everything. So thanks for watching guys. Stick around next year. Merry Christmas and we'll see you next time.